So how do we draw a negative radian measure in standard position? So the first step of a process like this is first start with the initial side on the positive x-axis. The next thing to realize is that we're dealing with a negative angle. In other words, that means that we have to start, when we start with the initial side, we've got to rotate this time in a clockwise direction, not starting from a counterclockwise direction. Okay? So in other words, I'm going to label this side as zero radians. And then what I realize at the bottom here, because I'm rotating <clears throat> in a clockwise fashion, this will represent now pi over 2. Okay, not necessarily this side, as you might normally see. And then as we keep rotating the clockwise direction, this will, that'll be pi radians, and then I keep going, that'll be three halves now pi. And then as I come back around full circle, this would then be two pi radians, okay? Now, this is a way to help you, okay? So this, the way I've done this now is kind of backwards, all right? So what I'm gonna do here is just Right in the decimals, the pi over 2 is really the same thing as then on the bottom. It's really the same thing as just 0 0.5 pi. Okay? So now what I need to do is I need to draw an angle of negative uh, pi over 10. So isn't this the same thing as saying negative 1 over 10 pi? Sure it is, right? And what's this in terms of a decimal? Well, it's just negative 0.1 pi. So the question is, where does negative 1 point, uh, negative 0.1, excuse me, uh, fall? Well, if this was zero at the start and then this was going to be half of a pi, well, it sounds to me like 0.1 of it should be like one-fifth of the way. Maybe it should be somewhere in there. And there's the angle, right? Doesn't that make sense that this would be 0 0.1 pi radians? So this is the angle in standard position, okay? Um, if you then had to find the, the angle going in the counterclockwise direction, you could have just taken then 2 pi, because that's the full circle, and subtracted then 0.1 from it, right? In other words, the full angle here would have been then 1.9 pi, and you can always convert that into a fraction if you need, but that's all. Guys, thanks for tuning in. Hopefully that helped, and if it did, give us a hand. Like, subscribe, tell your friends. We'll see you soon.